Hey, my name's Graham and I'm at Rimmers Music here in Bolton and today I'm just going to explain what the three pedals do on a digital piano compared to a grand piano and also explain what they do on an upright piano. So basically, what, what are they? Well, the left hand pedal, which is this one, is called an una corda, uh, which in Italian means one string. And what that does is it, on a grand piano, it physically moves the action across so that when the hammers are hitting up like this, it's hitting less strings because some of the, some of the um, strings are three. So it takes it down to, to well, it tries to hit one, but it could be just two or one. So basically it makes a quieter play for, for delicate playing. On an upright piano, what it does is it moves the action physically closer so that the hammers don't travel as far, so therefore you get a slightly quieter sound for delicate playing. Now, it, it makes a small amount of difference if you're playing very lightly. If you then hit it hard, you might hear more difference. So on the digitals, you don't hear much difference, and even on the acoustics, you, you don't hear much difference. So I'm going to show you that one first. So this is on a, a digital piano. So this is the sound normally. Then I press the left hand pedal down. Now what I'm going to do is hit it hard, I'll show you. So I'll hit it hard now. That's without the pedal. That's with the pedal. So it's a very slight difference. To be perfectly honest, it isn't used very often. I'll just show you the grand piano. So on the grand piano, what it's doing is I'm playing the notes now like this. Press the pedal. You have to really give it a wallop to, to hear much of a difference. The more skilled player will obviously be able to tell more difference on it. So, so that's the left hand pedal, una corda or it's also called a soft pedal. Now, uh, on a, an all right piano, as I say, it just moves the action closer, but it's a, it's a similar effect. So the middle pedal, uh, lots of people get confused on it. So that's that one there. So what does that do? Well, that uh, gives you on grand pianos a thing called sustenuto. So that's on grand pianos. Now, because it's on grand pianos, if you buy a digital piano, they want you to give you the best possible experience. So therefore they make that into a sustenuto too. So what is that? It's selective sustain. So what sustain? Sustain means when you press the notes down, you let go, they carry on playing. So what I can do is I can press a couple of notes down like that. Normally I let go and they stop. If I press that, those notes down, then press that pedal down, those notes will sustain, but no other notes do. And that's called sustenuto. So they're sustaining else does and until I release that pedal and then repress it down again if I press it down first before I press the notes it does absolutely nothing so basically you press some notes there press that they're sustaining nothing else does so I'll just show you that on the grand piano here yeah. so it's exactly the same so I go like this See? so you so the idea is is you press your notes that you want to sustain down, you press that pedal, they'll sustain, and, and that's it. Now the middle pedal on an upright piano is what's called a practice pedal, or some people call it a celeste pedal. And what that does is it puts a felt in between the hammers and the strings so that you get a quieter sound. And the idea is, is you pop that pedal down, you push it to the left, and it hits this felt before it hits the string and you get a quieter sound. So you don't need that on digital pianos because you can obviously turn the volume up and down. And on grand pianos that just doesn't exist because of the nature of how the hammers, how the hammers are. So that's the middle pedal, sustenuto pedal. The right hand pedal is your sustain pedal or it's also known as a damper pedal. So what does that do is when you hit a note normally, you get a, a hammer hits a string, sorry, there's a damper on the string that stops the, the, the sound from, it, from coming out. It takes that off. The hammer's hit the string, that makes a noise. When you let, no, let go, the damper goes back on the string. So if you hold the sustain pedal down, what that does is it stops, it takes all the dampers off all the strings and stops the uh, damper from going back on and therefore the string makes a noise and it, and it fades away like that. So that's, I'm on a digital, that's what that's doing. And it does exactly the same uh, principle on all types of pianos. So, whether you've got a grand piano, an upright, 
or a digital. So I'll just do it on the ground just to show you. Right, so now I'll go to the digital. Exactly the same. Exactly the same on the digital. So let's just do that again. So on a grand piano and on the digital pianos, because they want to give you the best experience, your left hand pedal is the uno corda, or also known as the, the soft pedal, which basically gives you a slightly quieter sound by um, pretending to move the action to the side on a grand piano and it less strings, or on an upright moving the action closer so that it's, it's not got as far to travel, so that it tries to simulate that same effect. That's your left hand pedal. Middle pedal is sustenuto on digital pianos and grand pianos, so that's selective sustain. You press notes down, you then keep them held down, you press the pedal, they'll sustain, nothing else does. And on the upright pianos that have three pedals, it's a practice pedal or a celeste pedal, which basically means you lock a felt in between the hammers and the strings by pushing it down to the left and it gives you a quieter sound. You don't need that on digitals because you've got your body control. The right hand pedal is your normal sustain pedal that everybody plays. You just press that pedal down, it gives the effect of all the dampers coming off, uh, all the strings on a, on a grand piano or on a, an upright piano, and you get the sound continuing and gradually fading away. So hopefully, I've explained that okay and you understand it. So that's the three pedals that you get on pianos and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this if you have can you please press like and can you uh, tell your friends and also follow us on uh, our youtube channel by subscribing and we're putting videos on all the time they're great so thanks for watching see you soon bye